In this video, we're going to learn to simplify square roots that are not perfect squares. So for example, we're going to start with the square root of 45. Now that's not a perfect square, but there is a perfect square in 45 because 9 times 5 is 45, and 9 is a perfect square. So using the product rule for radicals, I can take the square root of 9 times the square root of 5 because 9 times 5 is 45. And the square root of 9 is 3. And so my answer is 3 square root of 5. We cannot take any perfect square out of 5, so it must stay under the radical sign. Now you can check in your calculator. You can put 3 square root of 5, hit enter, and you will get a decimal answer. Then if you put in the square root of 45, you will also get the same decimal answer. And you'll know that they are the same thing. All right, let's try another problem. I'm going to try the square root of 80. Now some students might say, well, okay, I can use the product rule for radicals, and I can say that's the square root of 8 times the square root of 10. And that's certainly a true statement, 8 times 10 is 80. But it doesn't do us any good because the square root of 8 is not a perfect square, and the square root of 10 is not a perfect square. So that's not going to help us. So let's try something different. All right, let's go to the square root of 80. And that will give us the square root of 4 times the square root of 20. And that's also true. 4 times 20 is 80. But in this case, we have a perfect square, which is 4. So we can say the square root of 4, and we can say 2 times the square root of 20. Now, if you're to check this in your calculator, you'll get the same decimal approximation for 2 square root of 20 as you do for the square root of 80. But I will tell you that that is not um, totally simplified, and you would not get total points for that problem. You must notice that in the square root of 20, there also is a square root of 4. 4 times 5, that's a perfect square. So you could actually um, take out another perfect square of 4. So 4 times 5 is 20. And the square root of 4 is 2, and that's going to be multiplied by the 2, because it's all multiplication that we're working with here. And so my answer is... 4 square root of 5. So now this is the answer. All the perfect squares are out. We cannot take another square root of 5, so we're finished. But let me show you another way to approach this problem that really is a little uh, quicker. If you look at 80, you might be able to see that there also is a square root of 16 times the square root of 5, because 5 times 16 is 80, and 16, there's a perfect square of 4, so square root of 16 is 4, square root of 5, and we've got the answer, we're done. And these are the same answer. This was a little quicker because we uh, reduced the number of steps. We noticed the, per the largest perfect square to begin with and brought it out. Either way you do it is fine. Um, this is just a little quicker than the other one, as long as you get the same answer. And you can check these in your calculator. Make sure that they match the decimal approximation for the square root of 80.